Hi, this video is going to cover some of the potential uses for the WooCommerce tab manager extension, which is available at WooThemes.com. So first, let's take a look at what the default WooThemes or WooCommerce tab layout looks like. So if we take a product and take a look at the default tab layout, you'll see that we have a detailed product description additional information, which I've changed the name of. I'll get to how I did that in a second. Usually this says additional information and reviews. Now, the reason I changed this is usually this information is weight and shipping dimensions. So I changed the name to shipping dimensions. So first, let's take a look at how Tab Manager allowed me to do that. If we go under WooCommerce, we'll see that we have a Tab Manager menu. The first thing this allows us to do is edit our default tab layout. So, as you can see, the tab title and the tab heading are available for us to change. I simply changed the heading from additional information to shipping information. We can also reorder these tabs if we want to, which is a very handy feature. So let's say that I have products and I want to add a tab that I could add to all of those products. We're going to make a global tab to do that. So, let's say in this furniture store, all of my furniture comes with a warranty. Okay, so let's save this tab. Now that we've made this global tab, it's available to be added to all of our products. Or, if we want to make it part of the default tab layout, we can do so. So I'm going to add this to my default tab layout. When I do so, it's now added to every single product in my catalog. When you add a global tab like this, you have to be aware that the content is going to be the same for every single product. So this content we cannot edit, it's just going to display the same way across our entire catalog. So let's save that. If we want to change a tab for a specific product, we can also do that, but we're going to have to do it in a different way. So now let's take a look at what that new tab looks like for the same product. Right. So now, like I said, we changed the name here, but I've also added a warranty information tab. That is the first thing that we can use with the WooCommerce tab manager. Now, what if we want to have information specific to a product? Let's take a look at one of my favorites. The chair I just showed you is a Knoll chair, and Knoll Furniture also makes my favorite chair, which is the Barcelona chair. So I have taken the Barcelona chair and changed it. So we can override the default tab layout for a specific product if we want to. Since I'm going to be adding a couple more tabs here, I changed the additional information tab to display the title shipping instead. So I shortened it up a little bit since I'm not really putting attributes or anything there. It's only going to be shipping information. We have reviews. Now I've added one tab here already called the product story, I'm going to add another. I can add that warranty information tab back in if I'd like to. And as you can see, it's my global tab. I can't edit this content unless I go to the global tab page. And so I don't want that on here for now, actually. I'm going to get rid of that tab. I'm going to add a custom tab instead. Null Furniture puts a product story and information about designers on their site. So let's say that if I were their website, I want to put information about my designer. I can paste that text here and save it and now instead of displaying that default tab layout this Barcelona chair is going to display my product specific layout. So once I have that updated I'm go here to view product And when we take a look at my tabs, notice now I've changed the name of the tab for shipping information. I have my product story and my designer information. 
and again I could change the order of these tabs if I wanted to do so. So let's take a look at the final example I'm going to show you on how to use Tab Manager. So let me go to a different product here now. One of the great things about WooCommerce is that it can display related products, which is great for cross sells. And I'm going to take a look at that with this IKEA mom bed. Now, if you don't have a WooCommerce uh, theme, you're not going to be able to uh, change how many related products are displayed. So that can be a good thing or a bad thing. Related products are going to be displayed using the category, which is furniture. And I can change what's related by adding cross cells in under the linked products part. Okay, But I can only display two of them with the theme I'm using. I'm using the general 2012 WordPress theme. Another way I could do this, instead of just displaying furniture or only displaying two products, I want to be able to display the entire mom line. So let's go to tabs, and I'm going to add a tab for product family. Now notice I can add photos or embed videos in here. I'm going to use a short code to show people the rest of this mall lineup. And putting it in a tab is also a little bit easier uh, for customers to find. They can see the entire product family in one place. So it's a suggestion if you don't have a WooCommerce enabled theme uh, of a different way that you can uh, easily display as many related products as you need to. So if you haven't seen this, you can go to your short code button here. I'm going to add some products by SKU. So I'm going to add this short code down here. And I'm going to add all the mom products. There's a nightstand, there's a three drawer dresser, and there's a mom six drawer dresser. So now that I have that product family tab, I can add that. When we take a look at this product, you'll now see that product family tab and the products I just set for it to display. So I have shipping, I have reviews, and I have my product family. And notice here, I have the products that I wanted to display along with this. So again, that's something you could do with related products, but notice I can only display two of them here. And obviously the Knoll furniture and the IKEA furniture are not nearly in the same price category. So I know if someone is buying this IKEA mom bed, I can display the exact cross sales I want to display to them here, and as many of them as I need to display by using the short code. Um, instead of trying to cross sell them as, as linked products. So it's just a simple, easy use for Tab Manager. You can add images or whatever product information you need to add to help you sell to your customers. So again, this is the WooCommerce Tab Manager extension. It's available at WooThemes. Uh, these are some possible uses, but there are so many things you can do with this extension. So if you have suggestions for ways you've used it, please let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.